Now let's talk about the compress archive command line. The compress archive command line creates a compressed or zip archive file from one or more specified files or directories. An archive file can be compressed by using the compression algorithm specified by the compression level parameter. The maximum file size is 2 GB because there is a limitation of underlying API. So let's go to the PowerShell command prompt and let's see an example for this. And if you want to know the parameters of compress archive command line, then we can take help of get help command line. So come here, write get help and mention compress archive. Hit enter. And here we can see compress archive command line supports path parameter, destination path parameter and so on. Now let's see an example where we will try to let's say archive the directory. So let's go to the desktop to look for the directory. In our case, let's work with this directory. Copy the path. And to archive this directory, we will take help of compress archive command line. So let's go back to the PowerShell command prompt and write compress archive. Now we have to give the path for that directory. And to do that, we will take help of path parameter here. So mention path and give your path. Okay. And now we have to give the destination path where we want the archive file. In our case, let's say we want that at the desktop and to give the destination path, we will take help of destination path parameter here. So write destination path and let's give the path and let's say desktop. So let's give a name to our file. Let's say test after zip. Hit enter. And now we will see that test after zip will be created on the desktop. And here you can see test after zip has been created. And inside this, you will see the test directory. So let's open this. And here you can see we have the test directory. And inside this, we have the a.txt file. And if you come here, and you can verify that. The one thing that we have to note that is if the file name in the destination does not have a .zip file name extension, then command line adds the .zip file name extension itself.